Gotcha here, it's your boy Fist in the His House, bringing out a great edition of Black Ops for me to you, cause that's what I do, and oh yes, you like that English? It's awesome. This is the gameplay called You Mad Bro, when <laughs> you guys wanted to see the gameplay, I had to go look for it, but I found it. You Mad, the guy like sent me a salty message, I mean, uh... I can't help it, you know. There's, there's always, it's, uh, there's always somebody that jumps in my game and they're like, you know, tries to pull the badass move on me, and I'm like, all right, you might, you might get me like one or two games, but then after a while, I start figuring them out and their style and their technique, and like I said, it's always the best of seven or the best of series or whatever, but you could really find the true test of somebody's skills on a new map. Like, you know, okay, really, we're, we're both playing the map new. I'm not using Ghost. I'm not using Ninja. But you are. So, straight up. You know, there's no, you know, there is no, there's no mistake in who is better in this particular game. I mean, not that I'm trying to sit here and go, oh, I'm the baddest dude there is. But, but for this specific instance, this is what went on, you know. I mean, this happens daily occurrence. There's always somebody, oh, fisticuffs in here, and then they got to fucking pull out the tryhard pants, and like, dude, I don't really give a fuck if you win, or if you beat me, or what you do. It don't matter to me. Specifically, how I play is that I'm literally rotating my weapons through every single map. I, I'm a connoisseur of Call of Duty. I'm not a douchebag who uses one weapon. I use, if, when I get to level 50... 15 when I finish this next leveling up I'm gonna show you how I look at all my weapons and I'm not trying to rationalize everything that I do and a lot of people will rationalize like yo this is you know if you look at this and you divide that and do the numbers and you know the rankings and blah 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 I'm not gonna rationalize all that I'm gonna show you specific details that correlate with gameplay that make absolute sense they're absolute facts like if you look at your gun kills and then you look at the total amount of kills and then look at where you stand in the specific game type and it all matches up then that's what you are you know I, this these comments on YouTube they're baffling to me like people say oh my gosh well so-and-so's kill death ratio is a seven on Xbox <laughs> Are you fucking a 7 on Xbox? Come on, dude. 10 or whatever it is on, on PS3. Look, you're full of shit. Alright? You're playing, I mean... <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I mean, if you look at any tournament, any professional MLG tournament, how many times out of 100 does somebody have a 2.0? Name them. There's not that many. So, for somebody to even make that ridiculous, ludicrous, brainwashed comment, if that's you, you're a fucking idiot. I'm just saying. So, moving right along. Now, with this, but, but, but putting all this together, as far as like, you know, I'm going to show you the stats and everything, they pretty much match up for myself. I mean, you know, a lot of people can say, oh, yeah, I have a five point kill death ratio. Okay, get in the game with me and see if you get a 5.0. You're not gonna get a 5.0. All right, and if you're and if you know if it, it, it's just not gonna happen every single game. I guarantee it. So uh, you know when I listen to people talk, I mean your fucking stats are based on a helicopter and dogs, and I know it takes time to get there. But anybody who has X amount of kills can start to postulate where the persons are going to spawn next and position themselves into those kills now how do you how do you surmise and figure that out well you just look at the total amount of kills that they get with a chopper versus their weapon that tells you the type they're an area they t they camp in a specific area based on their knowledge of the map the map doesn't change this isn't when you really know somebody's gameplay is when you play against them when the fucking game first comes out, or when the map, or, or when the, uh, or when the maps first come out, or when the map packs first come out, and you see that type of guy through seven games, 
then you know what type of person that really is. Or when they're playing against people of, of equal competition who knows what they know. That's how you can figure out somebody. The best way I can tell you. The best way I can tell you that they should have a ranking system that would work in a COD game is would, would be to have people paired up based on their kill death ratio then there would be no way for them to get out of it because if you keep backing out of games or or, or dashboarding then your win loss ratio will go down to fucking zero and even though your kill death ratio is high you're not playing anybody so no matter what if you had a three point kill death ratio and you dashboard then if you weren't to join a game based on your kill death ratio then you would wind up with people with 3.0s who had them legitimately. So you would never, you would never ever getting any any more kills because there would be a specific game mode for that type of gameplay. So instead of having true skill rankings, I think people to shut up most of the retards on YouTube who do not fucking got a clue about you know people talking about their kill death ratios is to have a game uh, set up to where people have to play you versus your kill death ratio and then there and then the rest will just get weeded out or weeded down if you got a 2.0 then it'll rank you up with mostly people between 2.0 and 2.50 so that way you can gain some rank so your rank is based on your kill death ratio a game type based on your kill death ratio and that's it without the streaks in it no kill streaks you know I mean you can have the perks you can have the attachments no kill streaks everything based on your kill death ratio you're matched up with people with the same ratios you know and people like this they get salty their, their kill death ratio is a 2.430 whatever it is but then when they get their ass kicked they get to leave a salty message you went a one point whatever on a fucking map you know it's not my fault you got worked so that's my suggestion. You know, that's how you would do it. No kill streaks, perks and attachments allowed. Kill death ratio, matchmaking, matchmaking. Cream will rise to the top. Fags will go to the bottom and be salty mad losers. Anyways, it's your boy Fist. Bring it to you like I do. Until next time. Peace. Run these fools. Watch this. Look at this last kill. Watch this. Look, dumbass try to drop shot me. Watch this. You ain't got to drop shot the champ with the. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. G11's champ. Good job, team. Leave the Leave the game. Pew pew. Till next time. Peace. Hi. It's, it's your boy, Vaughn, on behalf of Fisticuffs. Peace. Oh. And a shout out.